Zorin OS 18 Pro versus Zorin OS 17 Pro. A detailed comparison. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are into Linux distributions that make switching from Windows or Mac OS feel effortless, you probably heard of Zorin OS. It's designed to be user friendly, customizable, and powerful with a focus on mimicking familiar interfaces while delivering the security and speed of Linux. Today, we are diving into a head to head comparison of Zorin OS 18 Pro and its predecessor, Zorin OS 17 Pro. I'll break down the key differences, new features, and why you might want to upgrade or stick with what you have. Zorin OS 18 was released on October 14th, 2025. Perfectly timed with the end of support for Windows 10. Making it a strong option for users looking to breathe new life into older hardware without buying a new PC. Both versions come in free editions, or education light, and a paid pro tire which costs a one-time fee of around $48. Check the official site for exact pricing. The Pro Edition unlocks premium desktop layouts, a suite of professional creative tools, and priority installation support. Let's get into the details. Now, core foundations. What's under the hood? Starting with the basics. Zorin OS 17 Pro is built on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS using the Linux kernel 5.15 series, which can be upgradable to newer ones via updates. It was released in December 2023 and receives security patches and software updates until at least June 2027. This makes it a rock solid for stability but it's starting to show its age in terms of hardware compatibility for the latest devices. Now, Zorin OS 18 Pro, on the other hand, steps up to Ubuntu 24.04.3 LTS with the Linux kernel 6.14. This brings better support for modern hardware, including newer NVIDIA, Intel, and AMD GPUs, as well as Improved drivers for peripherals like printers and Wi-Fi adapters. Expect snappier performance overall. With optimizations that reduce load times and make animations feel smoother, even on older machines. Support extends to June 2029, giving you two extra years of peace of mind. If you're running cutting-edge hardware or plan to keep your setup for a while. 18 Pro has the edge here. Now, user interface and customization. A fresh look in 18. One of the Zorin's biggest selling points is its ability to transform the desktop to look like Windows, Mac OS, or other popular OSs through the Zorin appearance tool. Both versions excel at this, but 18 Pro takes it further. In Zorin OS 17 Pro, you get access to premium layouts like Windows 10, Windows 11 styles, Mac OS, Ubuntu, and two exclusive, a Chrome OS-like setup with a bottom app shelf and a classic GNOME 2 interface for that retro vibe. The theme is clean and modern, with subtle transparency effects and a spatial desktop mode that includes fun features like a 3D desktop cube for switching workspaces. Zorin OS 18 Pro builds on this with a completely refreshed design. The panel now floats with rounded corners. There is a lighter color palette for elements like sidebars and the backgrounds have a subtle tint for better readability. New theme colors, yellow and brown, join the lineup for more personalization. Pro users get three additional layouts, a compact panel mode for smaller screens, a Linux Mint inspired menu for efficiency, 
and an elementary OS style minimalist dock. In total, 18 Pro offers 12 layouts compared to 17 Pro's 9 or so, making it even more versatile for power users who love tweaking their workspace. A standout addition in 18 is advanced window tiling. Drag a window to the screen edge and it suggests smart layouts like splitting into quarters or halves without needing keyboard shortcuts. This boosts productivity for multitasking, something 17 lakhs natively. Though you could add extensions. If you are coming from Windows, this feels into two and helps ease the transition. Now, features and productivity tools. Enhanced integration in 18. Both Pro versions include a professional creative suit out of the box, saving your time on installations. You'll find apps like Kdenly for video editing, GIMP for image manipulation, Photoshop compatible, Inkscape for illustrations, Audacity for audio, and Blender for 3D modeling. These are the same in both, but 18 Pro adds a few extra like Valot for freelance time tracking and easy effects for advanced audio tuning. Where 18 shines is in app compatibility and integration. Zorin has always supported running Windows apps via Wine, but 18 upgrades to Wine 10 for better performance with .exe and .msi installers. It even suggests native Linux alternatives or web apps when you try to install a Windows program, which is super helpful for migrants from Windows 10. Cloud integration gets a boost too. Sign in to Microsoft 365 or OneDrive directly in the Files app for seamless access, something which is not as polished in 17. Audio handling improves in 18 with Piper as the default backend, offering lower latency and better sound quality for video calls or music production. Remote desktop sharing uses RDP by default in both. But 18 refines it for smoother connections. The software store in 18 is overhauled with bigger screenshots and better search, supporting APT, Snap, Flatpak, and more formats out of the box. For education users, though not exclusive to Pro, 18 adds tools like Gradebook for tracking scores and Turbo Wrap for kid friendly coding. Upgrades from 17's educational apps. Now, performance and security. Why upgrade? Zorin OS 17 Pro is no slouch. It's optimized for speed and runs well on hardware from the latest decade. But 18 Pro feels noticeably faster thanks to the newer Ubuntu base, kernel implements, and VLAN support for graphics, which reduces tearing in games and videos. If your PC struggles with resource-heavy tasks, 18 could make it feel new again. Security-wise, both are Linux-strong, virus-resistant, with automatic updates and no bloatware. However, 18's longer support cycle and updated components mean fewer vulnerabilities over time. So who should choose which one? Stick with Zorin OS 17 Pro if you are happy with your current setup. Have older hardware that doesn't need the latest drivers or don't want to deal with an upgrade process. It's still fully supported and delivers a polished experience. Now, upgrade to Zorin OS 18 Pro if you want the refreshed UI, better multitasking with window tiling, enhanced Windows app support, and feature proofing. It's ideal for Windows 10 refugees, creative pros, or anyone who values the latest optimizations. Existing 17 Pro users can upgrade at a discount via the in-app tool, and you will keep all your files and settings. One note, while the free core versions are great for testing, 
Pro is worth it for the full package, especially if you rely on those premium layouts and pre-installed apps. If you are upgrading from 17 to 18, back up your data first, then use the software updater for fresh installs. Download from joinos.com. Let me know in the comments, are you team 17 or ready for 18? Have you switched from Windows recently? Drop your thoughts and if this helped, hit the like and subscribe for more Linux guides. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out.